So we're back out at Beach Tree. It is five degrees outside. So we're working inside. I have a problem here with this passenger's front glass. Where? There. Right here, you see there's a series of scratches. Not real deep, but apparently a clip came loose on the weather strip and it wasn't noticed. And as the window went up and down, the, the clip was able to scratch the glass. I believe the best way to polish the scratches out of the glass will be to remove the glass and work on it separately. So today I'm going to remove this window. Even though the car is not air conditioned, it was ordered with tinted glass. So all of my spares happen to be non-tint. So we need to save this window. Now to reference, screw, screw. And not the position of the handle. I'm going to mark the position of these top stops. In order to get the glass out, you will have to relax this and this. They are the adjusting screws for the rear guide. glass out. These pry off from the back side. There were two washers. I dropped one on the floor. Doesn't matter. The washers, those are leather washers, will go in. So there's the window removed. I had a note which said this door lock was strange in that with the key I could lock it but then it would not unlock. It would operate with the inside handle but turns out this right here seems to be a lock adjustment. Anyway, she's locked. She's unlocked. So, what's all this, you say? You missed all the fun. We're done now. We decided yesterday to see what we could do about taking the scratches out of this glass. I bought a scratch removal kit from Eastwood and I had never used it before, so it was a learning experience. Anyway, in between these tape marks, <clears throat> I had a bunch of scratches that ran up and down. And... Yeah. There, you can barely see what's left. 
it's hard with this camera but quite a bit of improvement in the Eastwood kit you get this arbor and there are three discs uh, fine, medium, and coarse. This is the fine disc. And you see that uh, there's just a little bit of color left to it. This is completely worn out. What we found on this project, we used the heaviest disc just about any scratch where you can feel it with your fingernail, you're going to have to use the heavy disc. Uh, it wasn't that long before we had consumed all the abrasive on the heavy disc. So, that's as much as you're going to do as far as taking out scratches, unless you go buy another heavy disc. So then we switched to the medium disc and we used up all the abrasive on that and as you can see we used up all the abrasive on the fine disc. So this morning I removed the haze as per the instructions with the polishing paste. And the trick on that is to mix it up pretty darn thick. Initially I had it really thin. It was making a lot of splash. It's going to make a lot of splash anyway. That's nothing. That, that is like the, the third cardboard. But the trick is to make that up really thick so that your felt buff has got something to work with. Well, like anything, you do it once, you learn a lot. <laughs> the next time I do something like, like this won't take me anywhere near as long. So now, clean up Reinstalling the car. And away we go. Getting ready to install the window. I have a new leather washer on each of the two risers so here's the window installed and getting those clips on the regulator pins takes all the finger strength that I've got but they're in there and Compared to what we started with, this is a tremendous improvement. So, let's find something else to do.